Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Philippines. So today I am situated in an area called Mobile. So this is located west of Cebu and this area is really famous for the sardine run. So right out there is thousands of little tiny sprawling sardines and I'm gonna go snorkeling with them right now. So I just rented the snorkel gear from my hostel for like 100 pesos for the day, which is very, very cheap. And I am trying to beat the crowd. So I've woken up early in the morning, like I arrived here later in the afternoon yesterday and there was just people everywhere. Like it was really packed. I always, I always sort of like to beat the crowd. So let's do this. Let's go see what I can find. <laughs> to see that many sardines. It's quite impressive actually, like, because apparently this, these sardines are around here every single day. And that was like the biggest ball of fish I have ever seen. And you can sort of just like swim right through the middle of them all. Oh, so amazing. And I was really lucky to see two turtles. So I have heard there is turtles around the area, but I'm lucky enough just to see two. They were pretty deep. But uh, yeah, such an epic experience. Best way to start the morning. And I just want to inform you about a few things to you guys. Like if you are thinking about coming to this area, there's a few things I want you to know. 
So first off, just respect the sea life because it is quite shallow going out there. You sort of have to like really sort of trot lightly um, when you're swimming out there and just do not step on the coral. Like do not step on the sea life. I saw a few people out there like sort of just stepping and crushing all the coral and like that's a way to just completely ruin the sea life around here really quick. So if you come to like an area where it's sort of sandy, just go up to that and stand, really simple. And also beware of the lionfish. So there's these fish out there, like they look really beautiful, but trust me, they are dangerous. Um, I saw like three of them, I think. So if you do see these fish, just sort of keep your distance and definitely do not touch them because they will most likely you'll most likely be in a lot of pain if you touch them and thirdly is there's a little bit of jellyfish around like they're not really bad jellyfish it's just more like the lice jellyfish um so i got stung up a little bit like i'm just got a little bit itchy not too bad so if you want to kind of prevent that wearing a wetsuit would probably be the best um yeah other than that guys just please respect the sea life Try your hardest not to step on the coral because otherwise beautiful places like this just it won't be the same years down the track. Um, so this is the area that I'm staying at right now like this is sort of just one big long main strip here with a bunch of um, like accommodation, place to stay at and they do like scuba diving and that around this area too. Um, but the day doesn't end there. I probably, I literally don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I think there is another island around this area to go to. So I'm probably gonna check out that island and maybe rent a bike later in the day and go for a bit of exploring. <coughs> so let's do it. Woo. Okay, so I've been a little bit busy lately. I've been trying to figure out how to get to that island that I said I was gonna go to. So it's called Pescador Island. Um, I was looking around a bunch of places and I think the only way I can get to that island is if I do it with like a group of other islands. So it's gonna come up come out to like 2,500 pesos to do up to three islands and I just want to do the one island so sadly I'm gonna to have to skip out on that island today but I got myself a scooter that was also a hard mission to do because because it's so busy at this time and there's just tourists everywhere like all the scooters are booking out pretty fast but this is my little beast here it's pretty average but I got it for 350 350 pesos each day uh, I think you can get it cheaper for like around 300 maybe even 250 but just because I was in desperate need of one um, but right now I've come to this area I don't I don't know if this is the right spot like I'm taking this track right now <laughs> it's I just put a pinpoint on my maps to come to this beach it's like 12 minute drive from where I previously was this is called White Beach I have no idea what it's gonna be like but we shall see down this dodgy little track Wee! Look at this! Oh my god! This water right here, this is bluer than water I was previously in today. Oh, holy moly! I don't even know what this area is. I think there's like like resorts around here. Um, I don't really see any other tourists. But oh my god! Look how beautiful this is. The water is so clear. Also a good thing, I've got my snorkel, so I think I'm gonna go for a dip. Sadly, it seems like a lot of the coral reefs around here are pretty destroyed, uh, so it wasn't the best snorkeling. But it was pretty cool to see all the big starfish, like there's giant starfish everywhere. But I saw out sort of in the distance, like a really nice white sandy beach. So time to jump back on my steed and head over there, mate.
Well, I found the beautiful white sand beaches. So it was pretty touristy where I previously was, but I always usually like to just walk away from the tourist spots or like where everyone is and just see if I can try to find a nice quiet little area. And I did. So this, like as far as you can see now, there's no one around here and I didn't even have to walk that far. So it's always good to just like get these little areas to yourself. Like look at this, look at how beautiful all this area is up here. It's amazing. Not even one person here other than me. I love it. Well, I feel like that's enough relaxing at these beautiful islands. It's just getting too hot for me now. And I'm gonna have to call it a day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, and if you ever get a chance to come around Mobile, definitely check out the sardine run because it was one of the coolest things I've done. And it is just so easy too. It is literally just right off the beach. Um, and all my accommodation is with, within walking distance around there. So that's well worth a visit. And this beach here, just up the road from that area is also worth a visit. Uh, I also like to point out too, that thank you to every single one of you have, who has been supporting me along my journeys throughout my travels. Um, I think at the moment I've gotten like 6,000 subscribers, which I'm pretty proud of. So like it's been, my channel has been growing sort of at a pretty good rate these past few months. So just a big shout out to all you guys for giving me that support. Um, and yeah, I really hope you can support me in the future as well. So thanks for watching. Remember, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone and be sure to watch the next video because I have the scooter for the whole day and I'm going to go on some scooter adventures. So see you then. Bye.